week from Tuesday, former President Trump and Vice President Harris focusing mostly on battleground states, which continue to be close calls. The latest Quinnipiac University poll, in fact, shows Harris with a 3% lead in Michigan and dead even in Wisconsin. Meanwhile, a former chief of staff for Mr. Trump causing quite a stir today, saying the former president often praised Adolf Hitler. I want to see anchor, Tanya Rivero, here now with the very latest. Tanya. Well, Bill, shortly before leaving for her town hall in Philadelphia last night, Vice President Harris stepped outside her D.C. residence to comment on John Kelly's new remarks. For weeks, Vice President Kamala Harris has zeroed in on her opponent as an unhinged, unstable candidate. And today, that line of attack is fueled by new, scathing comments from former President Donald Trump's longest-serving chief of staff, retired four-star Marine General John Kelly. This is a window into who Donald Trump really is, from the people who know him best. In an interview with the New York Times, Kelly says Trump has no concept of the rule of law or the Constitution and that he would praise Adolf Hitler. So he fall, certainly falls into the, into the general definition of, of uh, fascist, for sure. Kelly's comments mirror similar reporting in The Atlantic magazine, all of which Trump's campaign calls an outrageous lie. Adding in a statement, John Kelly has totally beclowned himself, calling the stories fabricated and adding, Trump has always honored the service and sacrifice of all of our military men and women. This is election about Donald Trump taking full control of the military to use against his political enemies. Kelly stopped short of offering an endorsement for president, instead urging voters to consider character over policy. Harris thanked Kelly for speaking out. And in a second term, People like John Kelly would not be there to be the guardrails against his propensities and his actions. Harris is back on the campaign trail tomorrow, rallying in Atlanta alongside former President Barack Obama for the first time and Bruce Springsteen. Meanwhile, Microsoft released a report today citing an uptick in Russia, China and Iran's efforts to undermine the U.S. democratic process. Bill? Charm.